Hi everybody, welcome back to Sharmone's Kitchen. And I'm Blessing Snyder. Yes, I got my baby in the kitchen with me today, y'all. Yes, taking time out from her editing, Shimon's Kitchen, to spend time with her mom today. Yes, to make y'all a good special treat before the holiday kick in. Just because weekend, any time of the day, we're going to be making homemade caramel corn. corn. That's right, guys. So instead of us baking cookies tonight, it's Christmas Eve. We're going to make some homemade caramel, caramel corn. corn. Yes, I'm so excited today. Yes, she came from behind the camera from her little her editing Shimon's kitchen and coming into the kitchen with me. You excited? Of course I am. Yes. I love, I love popcorn and I love popcorn. It tastes so good. I'm so excited to make this and eat this at the same time. So. You know, a girl look hungry, so I'm ready, I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> so we gotta get this thing rolling, y'all. We're gonna go ahead and give you guys the ingredients to make the caramel corn, okay? All right. Okay, so what we need is two teaspoons of brown sugar. Um, we also need a whole stick of unsalted butter, sir. Corn sir. Corn sir. Corn sir. I have of cup, sorry, a half a cup of corn syrup, three teaspoons of baking soda, and a half a teaspoon, two teaspoons of vanilla. Thank you, baby. That's, see, that's why. <laughs> Try to keep the kids in the kitchen, keep them watching, because when you forget, <laughs> they can remember and help you out. Thanks, right. babe. No One of the main ingredients of this recipe, popcorn. To spend time with family and friends in the kitchen, you can take it back old school. Get that hot butter or oil on a pot, put that popcorn in a pot and get the popping. Or you can also take your popcorn and put it in the microwave and pop it that way as well. A couple of different ways you can do it. It depends on you and how you want to do it. You ready to get started, baby? Oh, of course. Yes. I'm so excited. Okay, so now you know mama gonna put you to work, right? <laughs> We're gonna put you to work so you can show the people you know how to do a little something in the kitchen too, okay? All right, I got you. Okay, that's what I'm talking about, my baby. We're gonna go ahead and get the brown sugar in there first. I'm gonna let you step over here, Blessing, okay? I'm gonna get the brown sugar in there first. Okay, so then we're gonna add all the butter. Okay. I'll hold it for you. You wanna add all the butter in there. she's doing that I'm gonna go ahead and set the oven at 350 let's go ahead and do that all right caramel corn is cooking bubble so you want to hurry up and transfer okay, your popcorn inside there you go bless and stir real lightly take that popcorn you want to kind of move quickly and mix it all <laughs> Mix it all up. All right, she has it. We're gonna take that and put it all over the pan so that we can get ready to bake it in our oven. 350, y'all. 
for about 10 minutes, check it, make sure it got hard. If not, put it on another 10 minutes. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and place this caramel corn in the oven. Okay. Thank you. Okay, y'all, so now that that caramel corn is ready, it smells delicious, you agree? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. So, a little tip on how we prepare the caramel corn. After we've slid it in the oven for a good five minutes, we went ahead and checked on it, took it out, and you're gonna stir it again to make sure all the caramel gets over all the corn. That's why it's called caramel corn. Slide it back in the oven, another five minutes, so eight to 10 minutes, it should be done. You take it out, let it cool for about four to six minutes before serving. Let's go ahead and serve this. I'm excited to eat this, I'm yes, so hungry. Yes, yes, <laughs> Thank you, baby, I really appreciate you taking time out coming to eat some caramel corn with mom. We're gonna go ahead and take it off like this today, okay? Let me go ahead and get you some. And then I'm gonna get put some in a plate. And we got some yeah. milk to kind of top it off like you're eating cookies and milk. But we're gonna be eating homemade caramel corn and milk. Yes, we are. Okay, so I got another surprise guest for you guys, okay? My husband will be coming in to taste it. Are you ready, Dad? I'm ready. All right, let's get it. I'm so hungry. It smells so good. All right. A yeah. good bomb. Oh, God. This is my, real good. My mom did a really, really great job. Hey, you knock it out the park, baby. Mm-hmm. Mm. Now y'all heard her. She can make some for me and her dad by herself. Mm -hmm. We'll see how that work out. It's gonna work out good, y'all. Okay, all right, that's what I'm talking about. We're gonna see. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. I do wanna let you guys know, or I do wanna tell you, happy holidays, y'all. From the bottom of our heart, from our family to yours. Don't forget to check on somebody. Tell them Merry Christmas. You love them. You were thinking about them. This is a special time of the year where some people, like I always tell you, are going through. Just need a hug, a phone call, just to know that somebody's there. Because you never know what the next person is going through. They may be smiling, but inside they're missing someone, like myself. Or just don't have the resources, you know to make it look like they can make it or buy gifts or do different things like that. Christmas is not about buying gifts. Christmas is about giving. Phone call, love, support, that's giving. Remember, and I also wanna add on, we live in a very cruel world nowadays. And so I just wanna be thankful for the people that has a loving full heart that actually give, give to the world. You know, it's not about themselves, it's actually giving and being blessed to have the money to save off to help others. So, I just want to encourage people to do that this Christmas, give out to the world. It's not always about you, it's about others, and let the environment be a lovable, happy world. Thank you, Jesus. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and let blessing end it all. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to comment some more suggestions that my mom can make, or I can make too, you know what I'm saying? And don't forget to share it to Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram, any type of social media that y'all have. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you can see every single upload that my mama has. So, and watch all the rest of my mama's videos that she makes on the channel. I just want to say happy holidays to my family, to yours. And thank you.